other people. It can happen to you. I'm in that space right now. The first few seconds of a heart attack. And you could be driving down the road in the middle of a busy street. You are the first person who knows that you're having a heart attack. And there's no one who can help you faster than you can help yourself. When you're having a heart attack, you would have heard of CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. When we see somebody having a heart attack or we go to the emergency room of hospitals, we see paramedics or other people pumping people's chest. What are they doing? They're pumping the heart, trying to get it to pump again. They're massaging the heart. But when you're driving down the road, even if there are 500 vehicles around you, you are in the middle of the traffic. You're the only one who knows you're having a heart attack. And it's the first few critical seconds that can save your life. And if you don't have anybody with you who you can tell that you're having a heart attack, what you can do is administer a self-CPR. Essentially, you need to do two things in administering CPR, whether to yourself or to someone else. You need more oxygen into your system and you need to massage your heart. How do you get more oxygen into your system? Breathing, right? Absolutely. Breathe hard. Almost taking in all the air deep down into your stomach so that as much air as possible gets into your system. Take deep breaths, like so. And the second thing you need to do is cough, and cough from the bottom of your stomach, as if you want to take your intestines out from your, from your mouth. <laughs> when you're coughing like that, what will happen 